before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Welcome, hero. I'm so glad you could join me. It's been so long. You never call. You never write. A villain like me gets really lonely. So lonely, in fact, that I have to take to kidnapping a few civilians just to keep me company. Have you met them? Here. Say hello. This one's name is... Well, to be honest, I don't know their names. Why bother learning any of their names when they probably aren't going to be alive for much longer, right? Unless you play nice and meet my demands and save them, of course. And I'm sure you'll save them, right? You're such a goody-two-shoes hero with a perfect track record. A hero like you always saves everyone. No wonder everyone's a fan. Even me, actually. I don't suppose I could. I could get an autograph. Maybe you could shake my hand or something. Maybe we could take a picture together. It'll be just like one of those meet and greets you always do. Oh, but I'm sorry. I'm being such a bad host. Can I get you anything to drink? tea, coffee. I know you might be a bit suspicious of any drinks I offer because I've poisoned the water supply like five times by now, but if there's anything I can get you, don't be afraid to ask. I'm sorry. I'm afraid let the hostages go isn't a beverage I'm familiar with, but if you'd like, I could go check if they have it at the store. But you don't look like you're one to be letting me get away. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. You're really dedicated to your job. You're a real hero. No nonsense. All business. I made the right choice in picking you as my arch nemesis. I can call you that, can't I? Arch nemesis. I like to think we're on those kind of familiar terms. I mean, we're practically married. We've been doing this for ages. I kidnap some people, plant a few bombs somewhere, maybe the Golden Gate Bridge, maybe the Suez Canal. Never the same place twice. I like to change it up after all. And then you come swooping in to save the day. Everyone goes home happy, and I get locked up until I escape again. Rinse and repeat. Like I said, I made the right choice in picking you as my arch nemesis. Y you do think of me as your arch nemesis, right? I mean, who else could it be? You were the first hero who ever stopped me. You popped my supervillain cherry. You've got to take responsibility, right? So, I am your arch nemesis, right? I hope you don't think that stupid poser skull face is your arch nemesis. Th they're not a real villain. I mean, you've heard their backstory, right? I do evil because I just want to watch the world burn. What a joke. W what a cop out. That's such a lazy excuse for her motivation. Doing evil just for the sake of it? Please. Get yourself a real backstory. Besides, the whole some people just want to watch the world burn trope has been done to death already. A real arch nemesis? A real villain? Should be a lot more like me. Interesting? Multidimensional? Just evil enough to be the villain. Just sympathetic enough to be fascinating. You know, I have an untreatable disease that leaves me in constant pain. So I hurt others so that I don't feel so alone. 
so I don't feel like I'm the only one suffering. So I don't feel like fate singled me out and said, hey you, screw you in particular. You don't get to be a normal person or have a normal life or have a normal shot at happiness. Now that, that is a much better backstory than stupid skull faces. A real villain should always be a bit of a victim themselves. And I'm a victim. A shame I'm the one person you can't save. Not even the media cares about me all that much. I do all the greatest crimes more than any other villain. I steal the greatest treasures. I do way more damage than any other villain. I even brought down the electrical grid one time. But the media only ever goes on about all those other posers like stupid Skullface. All because they always, always, always steal credit for my crimes. And the media gobbles it right up. I can't take it. There really is no place for me. No one cares for me. Except for you. You've always taken me seriously. Ever since I was a small fry. You've always treated me like a serious threat. You were even always telling the other heroes who laughed at me to take me more seriously. That I'm a true menace. That I'm a real villain. And I am a real villain. I really love that about you, you know. I really meant it when I said I was a fan. Heck, I'd even really like an autograph. There's so much I'd like from you, honestly. The only wish I have in life, other than to get rid of this unbearable disease, is to be with you. Which brings me to my demands. I propose a deal. I'll let these hostages go. They can go back to their lives or huh, the lack thereof. I honestly don't really care. And in return, you have to go on a date with me. Come on, it'll be great. I promise I'll, I'll put a lid on the villainy for this one. I won't do anything bad. No stealing, no arson, no kidnapping. Well, okay, I might kidnap you if you stand me up. But other than that, I'll be a goody two-shoes, just like you. And I won't kill anyone. Unless Skullface shows up anyway. And this'll be like a break without actually taking a break for you. I know you're too hardworking to actually cut yourself any slack and take a real vacation. Even though you could really use one. But th this'll be like a vacation you do to save the hostages. So it's kind of like work. So, what do you say? And just a bit of warning, I already planted explosive chips in the necks of these hostages that I can detonate remotely. So, you should really take me up on the offer. You do want to save everyone, right? You always do. And who knows? Maybe this time, you might even save me.